<laughs> spoke way too soon. Welcome to episode 12 of the KTM 690 Big Ball Bike Build, or should it now be called the KTM 732? Not actually a big ball, just 2019 cylinder and piston with the 2012 Duke crank. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, right, in the last episode, you saw me nearly, nearly tear the joy getting the bike started. Amazing. Shut the bike off, filmed the end of the video, came back the next day to do the 15 minute idle reset, hit the button, and definitely spoke too soon. It doesn't work. So it's gonna be, it can only be a few things or a couple of things. It's either the torque limiter or it's the start clutch, AKA the freewheel. So welcome to episode 12. Let me show you. Actually, unlike every other video about the KTM torque limiter and freewheel, I'm actually gonna show you. I'm gonna let you hear the sound. I'm gonna take it apart. You can watch it from beginning to end rather than just being like, oh, I wonder why it is that they didn't show the sound beforehand and they didn't actually show the install. Every video I've looked at seems to skip the sound of the failing torque limiter or freewheel in favor of just taking it apart and then putting in a new part. Oh presto, it works. For all I know, it worked in the first place. It's just a short video. Anyway, obviously I'm slightly annoyed because I just, let's get into it. Right, so when I start it, it does this. So I'm gonna take the clutch cover off and we're gonna pull the starter gear thing and have a look at it. <sighs> Left that off already because I've already had this off once over the last few days. So let's get it apart. So there it is, that's your freewheel gear. That's the thing that grips in one direction, but not the other. Spins when the motor's running. And that's the torque limiter there. Can't get those off without getting this off. So let's get this off. All right, now you need a special tool. and just do that up until it pops off. Eh, presto. All right, there it is. Yeah, you can just have a little look. On the faces, I'm not sure if you can make that out. Some of them are a little bit worn. My big suspicion is that it's not this that's the problem. I feel like after reading the manual, it said when you put this together, this individual freewheel gear, it says that you should thoroughly lubricate it. So when I did this the other day and put it all back together, and I thoroughly lubricated it and I put loads of oil on this and it just made it even worse. It just span and span and span and span and it would not grip at all. Now I can see that there are some markings on it where it's kind of worn down so I've got a uh, replacement so I mean I don't even know if it's the right size from a part number point of view it is the correct one but this is I'll be honest one off internet because these are really expensive I mean I know the general gist is if you buy cheap you buy twice and arguably if I put this in and it doesn't work do, is it because this one is rubbish and cheap versus that one which is an OEM part or is it just that it's the torque limiter so we'll soon find out I mean it looks like it's the same size Now it's out. I think it's safe to say that the spring has had its day. Generally speaking, in the other videos that I've watched, people have gotten the spring out to have a look at. Let's have a look, see. Apparently if it does that, it's spent. And it's a bit on the old baggy side, so let's, uh, let's put that one to the side. Get rid of that spring. Let's have a little look at the inside of this. And you can see some marking, but can't really feel it. I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil. previous one was spinning in there. This one's pretty snug. <laughs> oh, I made that look really hard. I don't even know if it's in the right way around. Just because it's got the pin on one side doesn't mean it's gonna turn in the correct direction. Who knows how they put it together at the factory. Ooh, let's just test it. There it is. So according to the manual, this goes on here, obviously, and it should turn clockwise. 
which it does. And lock, you should not be able to turn it counterclockwise. It does not turn counterclockwise. And that is much tighter on there than it was before. So I'm gonna put it back together, try it with this. If it's still clackety clack, then I guess I'm gonna to have to take it apart and do a bit of research into this. Now this is the torque limiter, which is potentially where the clackety clack is coming from. We'll see. I'm gonna put it all back together, so I'm not replacing this unless I have to, because it's just it's just quite a lot of money. <laughs> like all these components, everything's like everything's always a hundred and something pounds. No matter how small it is, unless it's a bolt. Anywho. <laughs> Minimum torque. So 12, no more clackety clack. Turns out it is the free wheel, replace that. I hope you found this helpful if you've got a free wheel problem. Sorry this wasn't a video of me riding the bike like I promised in the last video. <laughs> Episode 13 I think is gonna be reinstalling the Power Commander, reflashing the ECU with its SOC Evo 2 map, installing auto-tune and trying to do the 15 minute idle reset and hopefully, now I'm giving up on hope. That's, that's what the next video is gonna be. If there is anything extra like me riding at the end of it, <laughs> Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.